Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we are going to do an Amazon haul. I went a little crazy on the Black Friday and the Cyber Monday. <laughs> um, I am going to unbox these items. They are all diamond art related and a lot of it is storage type items. And um, so full disclaimer, all of these were either Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals. So because those days have passed, I'm not going to get into the prices because those prices are no longer in effect since the sale is over. However, I will link each of the items that I bought in the description below. And I feel like the prices are still a good value even though the sale is over. And again, just full disclosure, I am a Amazon affiliate and so there is a chance that I could make a small commission if you click the links and purchase anything on the website through the links. So now that that is out of the way, let's get into the fun stuff. Um, I have a lot of packages here. Um, so again, most of this is storage <laughs> type stuff. So let's open this one first. I'm excited. I want to kit up a lot of the existing diamond art kits that I have. And so this will help me do that. I also have um, a lot of diamonds that I want to organize. And that will also help me uh, with that as well. So I hope everybody's having a great day today. Alrighty. So the first thing I have here is this <laughs> giant organizer. Let's pull this out here. We've got a little box in there. Okay. So this first one is from Art Dot, and I will again put the link down below. This is the 240 container organizer. And as you can see, it is huge. Look at that. <laughs> I absolutely love this. It's really, really nice. It's got a nice handle on the top so that you can carry it. It has two layers of zipper. And I really like the color of it. This is a nice purple color. So let's open it up here. All right, oh, we got some goodies up top, which we'll take a look at in a minute. So, uh-oh, I'm missing a lid here. Hopefully that's somewhere in here. Oh yeah, it is, it's in the top here. <laughs> So these are the round bottle style, and there's 240 total in this. So there's, I believe there's three layers, and so each layer is the foam type, and they're nicely divided in there. And so what I'm thinking is that I will be able to kit up, I mean, there's no kit that I own that's 240 colors or anything like that, or would it would need 240 bottles anyway. What I'm thinking is that I could kit up two or three diamond paintings in this, and it would make it very portable so that when I'm moving between my craft room and my living room, or if I'm traveling, I could take this case and I would be able to take more than one painting with me. That was the intent anyway, so. These are the nice bottles that I like to use. They are interchangeable with the other storage systems that I own. And so that was, you know, the deciding factor for <laughs> buying this case. 
So we've got some free goodies up here. We've got some stickers, which always come in handy. I like those. And we've got a toolkit, which I actually like getting these freebie toolkits. I absolutely love these, um, you know, the straighteners. Um, I use this for a lot of different things in diamond painting and also in other crafts. So I love to have these. I love having these pens because I like to make the polymer clay pens. Let's see if I have one sitting here. I do. I made a Christmassy one and um, I'm going to be making some more coming up. And I've also been making some of the single placer pens like this and I use the copper tips to make these. So anytime I get these free kits, I save these because I reuse them to make new pens like this. <laughs> so here's another one that I made. So cute, cute. Alrighty, and it looks like it came with, oh, this tray is neat. Some wax. What else we got here? More stickers. I like this tray. Um, I like this tray with the funnel end and it's nice and large and it looks like the lines are pretty straight. I have one that is this size that I got free in a kit and the lines are all wavy so it's like I can't use it. Um, but this one looks pretty straight so that's good. And we got a little green tray, some baggies, and some tweezers, some more pen. Two pens total. Multi-placer. So, cool. Cool, cool. Hopefully you could see all that and I had it in focus there. <laughs> Just some wax there. So, oh, and look, there's a funnel. There's one other thing in here. Looks like more stickers, maybe. So, I actually like these um, foldable funnels. They fit inside the kit. And they do get a little bit staticky though, and so I just wipe them with a dryer sheet, and then they're not as staticky. <laughs> oh, this is just a drying, uh, one of those, you know, the desiccant packets or whatever you call them. So, okay, let's put this back in here. Let's look at the other layers of this kit and see how it looks. I'm very, very excited about this one. I It's going to hold so many diamonds. And I think it's, I mean, it's large, but it's also compact for what it holds. Um, and I think it will be easy to travel with. I like that the zipper is... Um, I just had that off camera, sorry. I like that the zipper has two zips on it, like that. Okay. So inside the bottom compartment, there are two layers, it looks like. Knocking stuff over. So there's two layers of the bottles and all the bottles are the same size. You can see. So I love this because it's all interchangeable with the stuff that I already own. I already own some other Art Dot um, storage items and then some that aren't the Art Dot brand, but they have the same shape and style containers in them. So that's pretty cool. So I am happy with that. It looks really cool. I knocked down a paintbrush there. <laughs> all right. So, that is that one. Let's move on to the next box. I did order a couple of um, diamond art kits, paint diamond painting kits, which I'm going to save for another haul. I think I'll just stick to the storage items that I got in this one. Uh, 
Okay, oh, look at this. You can already tell, it's beautiful. Beautiful. this in here. This is, these two items are also from Art Dot. And this first one is the shelf style organizer that is going to sit on top of my craft room surface here, which I already have one of these. And so this is not a new item for me. This is another one to go <laughs> with the one I already have. Um, so there will be matching. I ordered some AB diamonds. Um, oh, I thought it was cracked. Oh, I thought it was cracked on the top. I was like, oh no, I'm going to have to return it. It's not. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this out. Um, I ordered some AB diamonds that I am going to organize in these and so that's why I got a second one. Alrighty. This has the two drawers that are filled with the little containers that match the round containers that were in the case that we just looked at. And then it has this organizing tray that fits on top here. And I have been using the other one, which is sitting on my countertop. And so I got another one and they're just going to sit next to each other. And it's going to be so helpful in organizing all of these diamonds that I'm going to have. Now, I learned from the last one <laughs> that during shipping, all of these bottles get disrupted and moved around. And sometimes the drawer can be hard to open at first, and that might happen here. Let's see. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, see how they get all jumbled up? I had a hard time opening the drawer last time. You just have to kind of jiggle it open and then straighten these out <laughs> once you get it open. Sometimes the lids fall off during shipping too, but these look to be okay. So there are... I believe it's 60 and 60. Let me double check that on here. Uh, I'm not sure actually. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not sure actually. I will have to look on the description and then I'll put it across the screen because I'm not sure exactly how many fit in this row. Does this fit perfectly? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That way, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven that way. So is that 48? I think that's it. <laughs> okay, well, not quite 60. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure actually because these are not quite falling into place. So, um, one of the things that I did, let me see if I can grab the other drawer and show you. What I did with the drawers that I already had was I put some cardstock in here to keep the jars straightened out so that they don't get all jumbly <laughs> like that. And so I have them organized. So yeah, it's eight across and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I counted wrong before. So it's eight across and then six up like that. So yeah, I had these all jumbled. But so I just put in the cards to keep them straight because they do get a bit jumbly in here. So that is the plan for that. 
And then in here, I put my trays, my release papers, um, and any little bits and bobs that I need to organize. So now I have two of these that will sit on my counter space here. All right, next up is another storage case. This is also from Art Dot, and this, um, I believe is a 120. I could be wrong. <laughs> you know what? I think it's actually a 70. I need to stop saying the number before <laughs> I know for sure. Okay. Could not resist this one. It is so beautiful with these tropical flowers and butterflies. It's like summery vibes, which I need right now because it's just dark and wintry where I'm at. So... Alrighty, so let's open this up and take a look. Okay, so again, oh, my lid fell off here. I think in shipping these just shift a lot and the lids kind of get loose. I love this style of bottle for the gems. It's my favorite. I do have some that are the Tic Tac style. Which are okay, I like those too, but by far I like these. You can put the labels right on top of the lids. Um, I just like the way they pour out. I think it's easy to get the funnel in there and pour the, the diamonds back in. They're just my favorite. I like that all of these storage systems that I have now are interchangeable so that, you know, if I want to, I can just take these out, put them into here. You know, take these out, put this into here. Like, I can interchange them all. Um, and that's what I've been doing. So that's why I just keep sticking to these. <laughs> I do, I did buy some of the Harbor Freight kits. Or, not kits. The Harbor Freight storage systems. Let me grab one. I did get some of these storage systems um, that have the square boxes inside. There's only 24 of the um, little boxes in here. I got these for some of the smaller kits that I have, and I really like these too. But for the most part, I go for these little round bottles. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... One, two, three, four, five, six. So it is 60. Okay, for some reason I was thinking it was 70. <laughs> so, okay, so it's 60 bottles. And um, I really love this style. I love this carrying case. I just think these are so handy. Especially if you're going to be moving back and forth between places. You know, if you're moving from one room to another or if you're traveling, these are great. Uh, comes with another little kit. I think this is the same as the one that we were looking at before um, with the other case. It's got tweezers, pens, wax, baggies, trays, the straightener that I love. So very cool. I love these little kits. <laughs> I know some people don't really like them um, and they end up giving them away and stuff, but I find uses for them. Another little funnel. And, uh, yeah. So, very cool. Actually, let me put this back in here. Okay. I just really liked the pattern of this one. Sometimes it's hard for me to find the patterns that I really like. But this one just kind of spoke to me. I needed something bright, floral, summery, tropical. I need to be on a beach somewhere. Something like that. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got some more boxes here. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, oh, I think these are some diamond paintings that I'm actually going to save for another video. So let's put these aside. Sorry, that was a tease. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is another storage thingy, so let's open this one. I'm hoping this looks as cute 
in person as it did on Amazon. If not, it's going back. <clears throat> okay. This is the last thing. It's looking pretty cute. <laughs> this is a bag that I got to throw all of my like my light pad and all of my stuff for if I'm traveling outside of the home. I needed some kind of craft bag to throw everything in. And I thought also if, because I crochet as well, I thought also I could use this if I want to take my crochet somewhere. I could also use it for that. This is really cute. This is as cute as it was on the website. So it's a keeper. So it is this blue floral pattern which is my favorite. I love navy with floral, especially like um, roses or, well, just any kind of pink and cream flower motif. I absolutely love um, those types of patterns. And so that's what drew me in to this. And I have been seeing this for months on Amazon. Never really pulled the trigger and then it ended up being a Cyber Monday deal. And so I ordered it. <laughs> And they actually had, so today is Tuesday. Sorry, no, today is Wednesday. It got delivered on Tuesday. I ordered it over the weekend because Amazon did early um, Cyber Monday deals. Like all weekend they had them. So it is pretty big. I, my light pad will definitely fit in here. And then I'm thinking, you know, I can put any of my kits in here as well. Like this one that I just bought will fit nicely. My light pad will fit in here. I wonder if my easel will fit. Let's see. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> my easel is too big. Oh, uh, actually. No, it's too big. My easel's too big. But my light pad definitely will fit in here. It's got lots of pockets. Let's take this out. So it's got lots of pockets inside. So you can definitely stash. Oh, I think I could put my light pad in this pocket maybe to keep it a little bit safer. It's like padded. <clears throat> you could put, you know, your pens, your trays, all of your accessories in here. There's another bigger pocket in here. I love that. And then this top part does zip. Keep everything safe. I love that. I like the shape of it. It's very cute. So it's got two big over the shoulder straps here. Very cute. On the front, it has a big pocket. This is just so cute. Like you could just throw so many things in here. It's got these are kind of like plasticky pockets, which I love this because um, this is very washable. <laughs> if you get anything on it, um, that would be very nice. Just craft-wise, if you spill anything, paint or glue or you know, whatever on it. Um, this front part actually has some pen holders. And how cute would that be? You could put your pens in here. Let's see how easily these fit. Oh yeah, look at that. You put your pens in here. Let's see if these chunky boys fit. Oh yeah, the chunky boys fit. So you can throw your pens in there. Keep all your pens nice and tidy and organized in there. So what a, it's just a great little travel bag if you needed one. Or if you just, in your house, if you're moving room to room, I know a lot of people do, I mean, I do, I move between different rooms in my house to diamond paint. You could keep your a stash of things inside this bag and, you know, move room to room. So, I really like this. This is, it's actually better than expected. So another pocket here. I like that these are plastic actually because they wipe them down easily. <laughs> so, lots of places to keep wax, trays, pens, tweezers. 
all those good things. All right, and then there's another pocket on the side to stash things. So I'm thinking you could, depending on the size of your diamond painting, you could also maybe put it in here and keep it safe as well. I don't know if I would do that or not, but definitely all the accessories and, and diamonds and everything could go in here. So I'm very happy with that and it's very cute. It is as cute as expected. <laughs> so I will put a link for everything in the description below and I'm going to be doing another unboxing with or another haul with the diamond painting kits that I ordered from Amazon so keep an eye out for that thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one thank you bye